Here with Akron women's soccer head coach Noreen Hurley. He, prior to returning to First Energy Stadium Cub Cadet Field after what seemed to be a very long time, Coach, I'm sure you guys are happy to be back at home. Yeah, it's great to be back. You know, we've been on the road for the last several games and a few weeks, so it's just nice to get back in front of the home fans and for the kids to be back, you know, just on their home field, which we always love to play on. Coach, I want to talk about the number three. You beat Northern Illinois 3-2 to two on Sunday. Carly Chalinski picked up her third goal of the year, and you picked up three big points in the Mid-American Conference standings. What did you like from that game against the Huskies? Well, I think what we liked most of all, John, was the fact that, you know, I mean, this, to be fair, we knew it was a battle going in. They were looking for a win. We were looking for a win after coming off that overtime loss on the Friday night. And Sunday games are really tough, right? That's, I think, where the, the Mac is often won on those Sunday games when you have to really be resilient and dig deep. And uh, to be fair, they scored against their own play, which was kind of disappointing. But, you know, the fact that we got back in the game was a good thing and they're positive signs you know and then we went ahead and then we conceded with three minutes to go which was bitterly disappointing again you know it was kind of a silly free kick you know it was a penalty we gave away and it was just kind of sloppy and but nonetheless they they, they did well to finish it and um you know it was 2-2 two -two, and then we pushed uh, and we had a couple of corners in the last minute of the game and and Erica Schrader put in a great ball. I think it came off of um, Haley Clare's head, hit the post, and as the ball came down, Carly was alert and alive in there. She put her head in the mix and uh, scored the winner. So that was a huge, huge relief, obviously, and it was a huge win. And it was just nice to see that comeback. And um, so there's a lot of positives that I can take from that game, coming from behind, you know, especially being well in control of the game at that time, and then down to the last few seconds, never quitting. So also talk about the game on Friday. I'll, unfortunately, didn't get the results you wanted, but you told me that you know the team played as hard as they could against one of the best teams in the MAC. And what did you like from that game despite the result? Well, you know, we, we defended well, and that's key, right? we got to make it tough on teams, you know, and, and Western Michigan is a good team. Their record shows that. They're quite athletic, and uh, they were very good going forward, and, and we made them earn it, you know. I mean, we wish we would have got something out of it when we got to extra time, but uh, it wasn't to be. And, again, it was just a simple little sloppy. We switched off on a corner, you know, and allowed them to score the winner. Um, overall, I think, uh, you know, Western Michigan would probably would definitely deserving of that result, but we certainly made it earn it, and, uh, and that's the resilience we want to start seeing in this program now can we dig deep when we're under pressure in patches of the game and I thought we showed a lot of good qualities in that all right now let's talk about this weekend coach you got Eastern Michigan this Friday and Central Michigan on Sunday battle of the Michigans uh, what do you expect to look from this weekend it'll be another grind you know every game in the Mac from top to bottom anybody if you look at the results in opening weekend there was some surprising results but it's not surprising in many ways and um, for us you know we're a little disappointed in the fact that you know uh, you know we have two players, I, I don't want to name them out right now, but uh, you know that uh, may not be available this weekend, which is a bit of a blow for us, but that's why we have a squad and we're going to get on with it and players got to step up and, and uh, that's why we use the squad and uh, no excuses and that's the whole mindset this year, no excuses, get on with it. Um, we, we'd like to have a, a full strength team uh, going into this weekend, but we'll be ready, we'll be ready for another battle. All right, Coach, good luck this weekend against the Eagles and the Chippewas. Thanks a lot, appreciate it, John. Like you said, Akron will be here at First Energy Stadium Cub Cadet Field Friday, September 28th and Sunday, September 30th at 7 p.m. and 1 p.m. All the action can be seen on the Zips Digital Network and ESPN3 and, of course, all at GoZips.com.